hello guys welcome in this video I'm going to teach you how to create your own delta modulation model in Simulink software before going to delta mod Simulink software uh, let's see the theoretical model okay this is the transmitter model which we have for uh, delta modulation okay the transmitter model this XQ of NTS is the sampled input signal as you can see here and E of NTS is the error signal okay what we are do we need is uh, we need a summer here okay and we need one bit quantizer we need a quantizer and uh, we need an encoder here okay and we need another summer here uh, and uh, we need a single delay element you know the working of this uh, delta modulation system uh, if you don't know I'll explain you in a, I'll brief it out okay uh, this is the quant uh, I mean the sampled uh, input signal and what we are doing is we are actually quantizing the error signal this is the error signal E of NTS is the error signal which we have okay how we get this error signal is we just subtract the present sample with the previously quantized sample okay we just uh, subtract these two and we get the error signal we just encode this error signal so that our bandwidth is utilized okay so these are the blocks which we need theoretically and we are going to use those blocks in transmitter section and in the receiver uh, section we need a decoder first of all we had an encoder there so we need a decoder and then we need another summer so that uh, we will get the xq of nts back okay and we need a single delay element this uh, entire structure is called as accumulator this section accumulator was there in the um, transmitter section also and we have an LPF this this low pass filter what exactly it does is it reconstructs the original signal uh, actually without this LPF there will be a step variation of the signal the a LPF does two jobs actually first of all it it smoothens the signal and the second job is it rejects the higher frequency signals also okay we will go to the simulink software this is the simulink software if you don't know where exactly simulink is if you go to matlab here and uh, home you have to go here you can see there is a simulink and if you see that uh, start simulink is there okay you if you press on this it will start simulink since i have already started simulink uh, here is my Simulink model of delta modulation. Okay, first of all, I have a sine wave. Okay, uh, these are the models which we saw in the theoretical model. These are the blocks. Okay, uh, first of all, we have a sine wave, which is an input signal. Uh, if you press, uh, if you double click on this, okay, what we will get is we will get these things. Uh, first of all amplitude what are these parameters i'll explain you amplitude you can vary 1.5 i have given you can and this is the, uh, the there are two ways of creating uh, a sine wave one is uh, a discrete uh, sample based another one is time based okay this is continuous time signal okay uh, this is used simulation time and this bias actually if you want to give it to a uh, uh, transistor or something there should be there will be we need a dc bias okay there we have to give uh, dc bias in my case it's not needed okay that's why we gave uh, zero and uh, here the frequency you always should be mentioned something like this two pi and the actual frequency which we need because it is represented in terms of radian so 80 hertz is represented as two pi 80 okay this is how i should represent it and phase is nothing but here you can see the actual uh, output of the sine wave O of t is amplitude into sine of frequency into time plus the phase a phase if you want to give uh, you can give also but I have given zero and sample time very importantly this sample time uh, tells if you want to actually sample the signal since it is a continuous time signal you can sample the signal but I don't want to sample this okay I will give it zero so that my signal is absolutely a continuous time signal see if you want to see this samples per period if it samples the samples per period is 2 pi divided by frequency into sample time. since I have given this sample time as zero the samples per period is this uh, these things divided by zero anything by zero is infinity so there will be infinite number of samples which represents a continuous time signal okay 
this is what I'm doing. I'll show you how it works as a <laughs> infinite signal, uh, infinite uh, point continuous time signal. Okay. Then we have a zero order hold. Uh, this is for sampling the signal at a rate of one uh, eight thousand samples per second. Okay. This is one by eight thousand because my FS, the free, uh, sampling frequency, is eight thousand. Okay. That's it. And here, if you go, this is the sum block. The same blocks which we have considered. This first uh, character tells to separate the plus and minus signs. You, if you if you move these things, if you just uh, move this something like this, if you move it to the middle one, uh, and I'll press uh, apply. See this? This has moved. Okay. This is opposite to each other. So uh, you can move these and. Uh, um, place it somewhere so that we can adjust the things properly okay and uh, the figure looks good okay and uh, that's it here and uh, after that you have a quantizer i have given quantization interval 0 0.5 you can change it 0 0.1 or also you can give this gain uh, here this represents the step size this is important to have okay this 0 0.005 represents the step size when you uh, actually quantize okay then you have a sum very similar blocks compared to your uh, uh, theoretical model here is a theoretical model the same summer is here and the single delay element is represented here by uh, this thing z power minus one z power minus one is a single delay element which uh, gives the delay okay um, here minus one is uh, represented okay you can change it to minus two if you want to have a double delay element okay now here uh, and then uniform encoder this is the encoder which i have i have used a uniform encoder you can use different types of encoders also see this is an encoder with eight bits okay and the peak value is taken as 2 since it has 8 bits the total number of levels it can have is 2 power 8 is 256 okay that's it and uh, you have a uh, in these this entire thing is the receiver section you have a uniform decoder yes uniform decoder um, it has also same peak the peaks should be same to properly decode the signal and again 8 bits of data okay to decode it properly and then we have a gain parameter very similar to this this is the step size which it it represents the step size and uh, again another summer is there similarly to sim very similar to that and uh, another delay element and then there is a low pass filter this is an analog filter design okay the butterworth filter actually and uh, the filter order is 8 and i have given the pass band edge frequency as 100 hertz okay my signal my message signal is of 80 hertz i have given it as 100 hertz 80 hertz also works actually but to make it more beautiful i made it 100 hertz okay then you have a gain parameter this gain is a variable gain this doesn't represent the <laughs> the step size as here this is a actual gain okay this gain is actually implemented uh, to uh, increase the amplitude of the signal the amplitude of the signal will be lost when it is coded and uh, again decoded here um, and demodulated but uh, we want to increase uh, we want to get the same level of uh, uh, amplitude so you can vary this gain i have given it as 12 so that it, it comes to the same level you can vary this and you can get the different amplitude levels but the frequency of the demodulated signal must be same as that of the transmitted signal that should be taken care of okay i'll run this uh, model okay and uh, you can see one uh, one uh, graph after the other i will zoom it okay this is the uh, the black one you are which you are seeing you can go and disable this zoom x okay uh, the black one which we are seeing is actually the message signal these are the cursors i can okay wait you can go to measurements and cursor, cursor measurements and uh, select these okay uh, and see the frequency of the message signal okay and uh, the frequency of the message signal will be seen here it's almost 80 hertz as you can 
see this is almost 80 hertz here it is represented 80 hertz okay and this is a uh, one bit quantized that means the delta modulated signal the blue one which you are seeing is the delta modulated signal okay the signal is of 80 hertz and the peak to peak is almost 3 volts as you can see here and let's see the second scope which is the uniformly encoded uh, signal okay how it looks like uh, now if you see these values since I have given the peak value as 2 the encoded value will have some uh, it won't take till 256 levels it will it has taken some 96 to uh, 97 uh, uh, levels okay that's it uh, you have it, it has taken it into discrete levels the it will decode uh, sorry encode the uh, input it was actually 1.5 volts to minus 1.5 volts it has uh, uh, digitized the signal to these many levels okay uh, total actually 256 levels but all levels are not taken since I have given some peak value okay that's the uh, encoded signal and uh, the decoded signal can be seen in this scope 3 decoded signal should be again 1.5 to minus 1.5 this is same this is the decoded signal which has been properly decoded okay as that of the uh, the quantized signal okay very similar to quantized signal and then you have the final uh, demodulated signal here this is the demodulated signal okay um, this is uh, overshoot initially it takes some time to settle down so that's why you have uh, that overshoot and then you go and disable this zoom x then you can go to use the cursor measurement okay if you use cursor measurement and if you see the frequency of the demodulated signal must be same as that of the message signal okay and if you move it something like this yeah you can see this it is exactly same as that of the message signal this is the model which we have constructed you can see all these uh, i have given the name of all these blocks i have shown all these uh, names so that you can also um, actually construct this model okay uh, thank you